What's up everyone? This is Asadullah Chaudhary and in today's lesson I'll show you how you can make a web page with a parallax image and a sticky navigation bar. So I'll be using HTML5, CSS3 and JavaScript. So let me show you the end product. There it is. If I scroll down, you will notice a little parallax effect with the image and if I go down further, you will see the navigation bar will stay fixed at the top. So this is uh, what exactly I'm gonna make today. In this video lesson, I use the jQuery as I mentioned over here. So today I'm not gonna use that. So I'll be using only JavaScript. All right, so now let me go ahead to open up my text editor to start writing the codes. Here's my text editor. This is a sublime text editor three. So I have to create the first file, which I have to put inside some folder and for this I have to create that directory parallax fixed nav and the file name will be index.html I would need a couple of more files so this time it's going to be my CSS file so as usual I like to put my CSL CSS and my JavaScript file inside a public directory so the public di directory will be containing some more directories like CSS JS and CSS directory will be containing all of my CSS files so this time I'll be using only one CSS file CSS so next file is going to be the JavaScript file which I supposed to put in JS folder so the file name is going to be script.js let's go back to the HTML page and let's start writing the codes HTML the code is generated meta char set UTF-8 this is character encoding that you must use for all of your HTML pages and the title is going to be parallax image and fixed top navigation bar or whatever I have to link my external style sheet link public CSS style.css so I would like to put my JavaScript file just before the closing body tag the source is going to be public JS and script .js. So you could be wonder why I'm uh, including my JavaScript file over here instead of the head tag. So there's a reason. If I include this file over here and let's suppose if my script takes long time to load so the rest of the other content which will be in the body tag that will be dependent upon this line this will wait for the script to be loaded so once the script will be loaded then the rest of the website content will also be loaded so this is not a good practice so I would like to put this uh, my JavaScript file over here so this way the page will be loaded all of the page contents will be loaded instantly in the browser and then the script file will be loaded also okay so the first div tag is going to be my wrapper and this wrapper will be containing the header header will be containing the image let me get the image first there's the image I have to copy this folder and 
and I have to paste it inside my directory fix nav public paste so you can see I like this uh, directory management so first I, I create a public directory which is at the same level of index uh, index file and then public directory contains the CSS JavaScript and oh, I created a new folder instead now it looks fine so inside the public directory I like to create uh, three more character three more directories CSS images and JavaScript so all of my images will go into the images directory the CSS file will go into the CSS directory so and so on and so forth and it looks a bit cleaner okay so if I go back on my page so all I have to do is to include the image now so public public is containing the directory which is images and the image name is background dot jpg alt okay so the next div tag is going to be the content and the content will be containing the navigation bar div id navbar and this navbar will also be containing the logo div id logo logo is going to be the company and then the navigation bar ul li and some couple of link tags home and then services products about contact so we done with our uh, HTML part now it's time to start writing the CSS I would like to use uh, the Mozilla developers tools and for this I have to put some text over here just to make my CSS file appear in the developer tools so on the HTML page all I have to do is to right click open in browser so this is uh, Google Chrome so I don't want to use Google Chrome for this particular example so I would copy this URL instead and open up my Mozilla Firefox and paste that URL right here so you can see it's a pretty huge image so I have to manipulate this image just to make it look perfect on any uh, screen width okay so I'm gonna right click inspect element and I should pop out my developer tools style editor I have to increase the font size so we are good to go so first I have to write the reset rule which is asterisk padding 0 margin 0 so the asterisk means to target all the HTML elements in one go on the HTML document so now I have to target my header header will have some height which would be 91 VH VH stands for vertical height and now it's time to go to my image header image image width would be 100% and the image height would be the same as 91 VH 
perfect after the header the following page uh, will be overlapped and for this I have to use the Z index property as well as the positioning property and I would like to fix I would like to use the uh, positioning fixed for my image position fixed and Z index 1 the z index property is used to overlap your elements if you give it some uh, bigger value the element will be displayed at the top of other elements so this is what i'm going to do now so i give it z index 1 so rest of the other content will be will have the bigger z index value so that the image can be overlapped so now it's time to target the content content which is container that is containing my navigation bar so the height is going to be 100 VH and border solid red and just to put it on the top of uh, my image just to make it just to take care of the overlap stuff so I have to write Z index 10 and positioning as well the positioning property would be relative so you can see the content has been successfully overlapped perfect so now it's time to target the navigation menu content first I'll target the uh, content the navigation menu I'm gonna give it some width uh, what I'm gonna do now okay so the content which has uh, position relative position absolute top 0 width 100% height is 80 pixels background color is hash 000 which is black now if I scroll down this is uh, how it looks like oh there's one problem I have to apply the background color property to my content as well so that way the image will be hidden so if I go back to the content part so all I have to do is to give it the background color which would be white perfect actually I have to add another div just to increase the height of my wrapper so that uh, we can check it out if it's properly working or not uh, let me s put some text over here H 
heading tag which will be containing parallax scroll width sticky nav bar HTML 5 CSS 3 and JavaScript by me so now let's go back and target the main page also main this will have the same height as well height is going to be 100 bh border solid blue if I scroll down so here it is background color white and position relative Z index what Z index property I used before which is 8 this one 10 10 perfect and the font style is going to be Arial. I'm gonna add some padding, padding top, 200 pixels, text align center text has been centrally aligned and font size would be 30 pixels or 25 yeah 25 looks perfect main all of the immediate childs and I'm gonna target everything so that's why I'm gonna put asterisk over here so this way all of the heading, heading tags will be targeted which are inside the main element margin top 30 pixels now it looks perfect so if I scroll up so this is how it looks like okay so now I have to take care of this uh, navigation bar it's supposed to stay at the top right here if I scroll down further for this I have to go back to my JavaScript file to take care of this header Navbar I needed the height of my navigation bar as well as the header so that's why I'm going to do this var header height
offset height so what I'm going to do now is to give give my header the height which would which would be compatible with all of the all of the browsers I mean if you have a browser with if you have a screen with smaller height so the page will be display exactly like this the navigation bar will stay over here it will be stayed visible to you whether your page height is in, ni in 900 pixels or 800 pixels it will stay over here so I want to take care of this using the JavaScript so that's why I just get the heights of uh, navbar and the header header dot style dot height is going to be screen dot height minus navbar height so whatever is the screen height minus the navbar height will give you the exact page height this one if I save the document if I go back and refresh the browser so this is how it looks like it looks perfect so now I have to take care of this navigation bar and the logo for this I'm gonna write some more CSS I'm gonna do it very quickly since uh, I'm getting late font size is going to be 30 pixels or how about 35 35 looks perfect float left I want to put my navigation bar as well as the logo side by side so that's why I needed to float it left navbar the image your child is UL which needs to be floated right float right width 700 pixels and the temporary border is going to be solid yellow and I also have to remove this these bullets the dots the discs list style none so now I have to put my list item side by side for this I have to write navbar the image your child is ul and the ul's image your child is list, ele list element so display inline now I have to target the navbar ul ally and uh, allies image your child is anchor tag so the anchor tag has some text which is uh, which, which will be displayed in white color font size 20 pixels padding 10 pixels and 30 pixels from the left and right if I go back to the nav bar I, I should give it some padding top Pairing top would be 
or this way the height will be increased so it's not required I'll take care of this uh, in some other way so if I go back and if I target the logo margin top is going to be 30 pixels it should be 20 or how about 15 yeah 15 looks perfect margin left is going to be 20 pixels that's the right place for the logo pointer as soon as the cursor goes over uh, comp company name so it will become a pointer so now I have to target the I should apply some margin property margin top property to this navigation bar as well margin top is going to be 20 pixels or how about 25 pixels here 25 looks perfect so it's time to remove the border it's not required now text decoration none perfect I'm gonna make I want to make it uh, fixed width for this I have to write HTML and min width 1280 pixels okay just one thing remaining then we'll go back to the JavaScript part I have to apply this server of I have to bind this server event with li element so as soon as the cursor goes to any of the link link tag the text would be underlined automatically text decoration underline it's not working decoration underline ah actually I made a mistake over here now it will work there you can see I think I should remove this red border now content and the border was there save refresh border is removed perfect refresh scroll up and scroll down now if I scroll down the navigation sh should stick at the top so for this I have to go back to my JavaScript file and take care of this so first I have to declare a function and the function is going to be the same one in it parallax 
विंडो डॉट एड इवेंट इवेंट लिस्नर एंड द इवेंट इज गोइंग टू बी स्क्रोल एज सुन एज आई स्क्रोल डाउन दिस फंक्शन विल बी कॉल्ड ऑटोमेटिकली इन इट पैरालेक्स so now here is the logical part when do i uh, supposed to fix this header i mean uh, how much how much should be the scroll value so that this uh, navigation bar should be stay at the top at what value so for this i have to calculate the value actually and i would like uh, i would like to write a check over here and the check would be window dot page y offset if the page y offset is greater than header dot offset height minus the navbar height header height minus the navbar height working so now let's go back and check it out in our browser if i scroll down so actually there is something wrong with this calculation so i should remove this navbar height now it looks perfect if i scroll down if i go further down as soon as this navbar touches the top you can see the working has been displayed over here so this is what i wanted so now i have to go back and now i have to target the navbar just to fix it navbar dot style dot position fixed navbar dot style dot top top is going to be zero if i go back and if i refresh the page you will see the navbar will stay fixed this is what i wanted okay so as soon as the scroll size is less than header height so the changes would be reverted back so the navbar would have position absolute if i go back if i refresh the page and i if if i scroll down you can see the navigation bar has been fixed at the top and if i scroll down it's working now now just one more thing is remaining so that's the parallax part so i have to close my developer tools
refresh scroll down it's working perfectly fine so now let's go back and target the image first I have to give some ID to my image BG PG stands for background dot top equals to I would like to manipulate this window dot page y offset divided by 10 and pixels now if I go back and if I refresh the page and scroll down it's still not working I guess I made a mix ah, I made a mistake over here document it should be document I misspelled that refresh now <laughs> the value should be in uh, the value should be negative not working perfectly fine let me check the video duration it's 37 minutes already so I think this is it for this uh, video lesson and hope you like this video lesson and if you get stuck anywhere you can contact me okay then bye bye